Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, what do we got here? We got a, a question around advertising indie comics. So Perch, you've joked a lot on your channel about some of the weird offers you get to do that you, that you get to do advertising. But perhaps there's a kind of ad you wouldn't mind running since it's right in your wheel space. As an indie comic publisher, I'm always looking for new ways to promote. So my question is, would you ever consider running ads for comics? And what would you charge? I'm not saying I could afford it, as I'm very small, but I'm interested to know. I've been disappointed lately with Facebook ads, and Twitter is even worse. However, I think your show would be a good place for an indie crowdfunder to promote. Not only do I think you get a lot of listeners who are open to crowdfunded comics, um, unlike a lot of YouTubers, you seem unaligned. In other words, someone advertising with you wouldn't automatically be tied to Comicsgate, whether they are or not. Here's a link to my books. I've probably shared them with you before. Thanks for your time, and enjoy the show I post as Biting Comics. And um, this is uh, from bitingcomics.com. All right. So the question is, you know, should I, you know, would I uh, advertise for indie comics? Yeah. I, I mean, absolutely. Why not? I, I think, um, and, and by the way, that, that might be an easier way to go about it because I've struggled. I want to promote more indie books. I want to promote more, um, uh, you know, individual efforts because I think there's a lot of really cool stuff out there. The challenge is it's hard to you know, I, people send me comics to review and promote. It's hard to do that when I'm driving down the road. That's uh, that's kind of the issue. <laughs> but um, but here, you know, so I think it, it's a good it's a good idea. So let's talk biting comics, okay? So bitingcomics.com, you can head over there right now and you can get some information about the comics that uh, that exist. And right now they're offering Clitothu. Uh, Clitothuba, <laughs> why, why am I tongue tied? Um, and a, a preview comic and Shark of War issue number one for free. So let me read you the pitch here, see if it is interesting to you. It says, Enter the Biting Comics universe. I'm assuming biting is because of the shark, because it bites. No, I'm sure that's not the case. When a massive bioengineered shark escapes a secret military lab, as they do, he makes himself the law of the sea, uh, battling the mob, his creator, and the monstrous creatures she's made to stop him. Uh, it's an evil scientist woman. That's why you do not tell women to do the science or learn the science, because they make sharks. That's a problem. It's Jaws if the shark were the hero. It's Robocop if the cop were a shark. Meet the shark of war. All right, I got to admit, that's pretty kick-ass. Um, that's pretty kick-ass name. And then we've got a deranged scientist utilizes the DNA of sea creatures and I'm sensing a trend here, in an effort to create human hybrids. Most die horribly, but a few survive, gaining incredible powers in the process. And they aren't happy about what she's done to them. Uh, see, it's another, it's another bitchy scientist lady. That's a problem. None more so than Clitothu Man, a being so powerful that nothing can contain him. Can the world survive the wrath of Clitothu Man? Okay. Now, you could sign up right now on BitingComics.com. Now, what do you get for subscribing um, I, if by what I can gather, it's free. So you put an email address, you put in a first name, and here's what you get for signing up. You get Shark of, of War, issue number one, digital deluxe edition. The first full issue, plus bonus content, 68 pages in all. You get Clitothu Man preview comic, first eight pages of issue one, plus bonus art. You get the Shark of War uh, Shark Survival Guide, which I'm assuming is just get the fuck out of the water, you idiot. The Paper Shark of War toy template. The official Shark of War face mask how-to with mask template, okay, and a regular newsletter discussing the artwork, the making of a comic book, and making marketing a book on Kickstarter and on Facebook. So we've got some art here, um, and there's some easy links to sign up. You can certainly do so right away. Why? Why wouldn't you do this? It's free comics. That seems like a good idea, and you get uh, you get some bioengineer sharks at some crazy bitch who is too into the science. This is the, uh, the aftermath of the whole uh, Moon Girl story. This is what happens. Is, uh, you know, they, they first they're all, you know, super smart, loving the science. The next thing you know, they're building sharks that are going to eat people and, uh, and, and strange demon uh, hybrid people. Anyway, um, some kind of enter some entertaining uh, covers here. Got some, a little bit of a different kind of thing. There's certainly a Jaws aspect. I I'll tell you this. Um, I think, so first of all, go check this out. You asked about my rate. Well, I, I'm just doing this video because I read your mail and I'm not charging you, so I guess my rate is free. So if you have indie comics you'd like to promote, throw it in mail, give me your pitch, throw some art in there, I'll try and make a nice video about it. Don't send me your comic to review. I mean, you can, 
but give me enough that I could do the video without reviewing your comic. I, I, if, I, if you want me to do a comic review, cool. I'll do that as well. That's a different thing. But if you want me to promote your effort, do it. Now, here's one exception. In the promotion, I guess the only line I'm going to draw is your promotion can't be, hey, uh, this go F somebody else. It cannot be, um, you know, fuck comics gate. Here's my comic or fuck the mainstream and the woke people. Here's my comic. Don't, don't give me that shit. Just give me, sell you. Don't sell me what you're not. Sell me what you are. And I will be happy to promote your comic, get some stuff out there, get some eyes on indie stuff. So if you look at the description of this video, you'll see bitingcomics.com or hell. I mean, how hard is that to remember? Just type in bitingcomics.com. You can go to the website, Looks like you can put in an email address, first name, and you can sign right up and you can get, you know, so you can, you can get your free comic. And that sounds like a pretty goddamn good deal. So why not give it a try? And I, like, like the art looks cool here. I mean, I'm just looking at the site and it looks pretty good. You got a lot of, you got the stuff color. looks like a lot of detail. You got some interesting homage to, to Jaws. Um, I, I will say I, I want to promote out. Um, well, I mean, let me just be candid and honest with you here. You know, in terms of the complexity of a title, the idea of a bioengineered shark is not going to have the longevity of, say, Spider-Man or Batman. It's a simpler concept. Um, and so it's, it's never going to, it's not going to achieve those levels of, of popularity. I mean, no offense, I'm, I'm you know, to, you keep your dream and keep publishing, but it's, but it's, uh, you know, it's a simpler concept. However, Notice, and I did a video another place, and I have no idea the orders in which shit will come out, so this video may come out way before the other one, or it happened some time ago, but I was reading solicitations from Marvel and DC, and how awful they were, just how uninspired and boring these comics are, and you've got, you know, Spider-Man fighting demons in limbo, and it sounds just boring. Uh, you... Why not hire somebody from bitingcomics.com to write your solicitation text for Marvel? Now, again, huge difference between Spider-Man, the Avengers, Batman, Superman, and a bioengineered shark. But notice the excitement in the pit. And it's not just the excitement. The person writing this is excited. The pitch is straightforward. You immediately know what you're going to get. It's not some goofy meta bullshit that's designed to appeal to a handful of squee friends on Twitter. Listen, once again, let's, let's hear this, this uh, shark of war pitch. When a massive bioengineered shark escapes a secret military lab, he makes himself the law of the sea, battling the mob, his creator, and the monstrous creatures she's made to stop him. It's, if, it's Jaws if the shark were the hero. It's RoboCop if the cop were a shark. Meet the shark of war. That's a good, that's a paragraph. It's a good solicitation copy. Okay, you may have, you may not be interested in sharks. You may be wondering why the mob is fucking around in the sea. Why why is the mob there? But anyway, you may have some questions. But what you get is there's a shark. The shark is stronger than other sharks. The creator apparently has monsters that are going to show up to try and stop that shark. And you know we get a little bit. The shark is a hero, and the shark is like Robocop cops the shark. It's, it's straightforward. It sounds relatively exciting. It's going to be a pitch that people are going to respond to. Now, again, you may listen to this and go, I don't care about a shark. It's dumb to me. But the pitch has more excitement than Ben Grimm has always had a hard time blending in. But this time, it's finally hurt his feelings that people are calling him a thing. Will Ben Grimm be able to get his sandwich in peace? And what is Dr. Doom doing hanging out in the deli? I mean, come the fuck on. I would kind of like to see a comic book with Dr. Doom hanging out in a deli, but, but I, you, you get my point. Anyway, an indie comic company, this, this person is doing some crowdfunded work, apparently. You can get a preview of the comic right now for free. This is bitingcomics.com. Go check it out. An indie book you should you pick up. Do you have an indie company? Do you have a project that you would like for me to pitch in my shitty car voice with my shitty car audio? Send it my way. I'll do my best for you. I don't know if it'll help, but I'll give it a shot. This is Perch. Thanks for listening.